Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Big Mike Beard Wisdom. So today, we're going to be tackling fixing this closet door. And these are pretty simple. So it's just a pair of doors that slide. Now, with Shadow and Bandit, it causes kind of issues because it's almost like they like to wrestle. And sometimes they collide into this and knock it off its rails. So there's no rails down here. So essentially, when this is done properly, this just floats. You can kind of see this wheel here is knocked loose. The one up here is still in. So originally this one here was over here, but this has been knocked off so many times that I couldn't get this to thread in real well right there. So I just moved a little bit over. This one has been about the same boat, but some of what I think is that essentially you only have the one guide down here. The guide goes in between the two doors. And that helps keep this kind of like from swaying and stuff down there. So my idea is to basically pick up two additional guides and then put these in the corners here. That way it adds an extra level of restraint. So should they be wrestling around over here doing stuff that they're not supposed to be doing? <laughs> then hopefully... If they bump into the door, as long as the door is closed enough that that's there, they'll be landing into that. And then instead of this acting like a giant lever with nothing to stop any motion down here, it has an immediate restraint that will hopefully hold it in place and hopefully not allow it to kind of flex these metal rails and pop out. Because these metal rails aren't super tough. They're really simple. So all it is is that wheel just kind of goes up into the rail. So there's nothing on this side really that holds it in. There's this little teeny tiny bump right there to help hold it and guide it in. But there's nothing that really puts any force directly against there to keep it. So the other thing I was thinking about doing was maybe putting a, like a piece of wood or something up here. In which case, I would need another piece of wood on this outside piece as well. But I've been kind of lazy with this and I haven't fixed it in a while. Both sides have fallen off. And then this one completely fell in the other day. <laughs> so now's a good time to fix it. So real quick, I'll just take this screw out. And this mechanism is fairly simple. So you've got this part here that attaches to the door. The wheel that rides in there. And then this part here. Now this one's kind of cool because this little finger right here in the metal slides within that little conch shell kind of stuff. And that allows you to either drop stuff constantly <laughs> but that allows you to raise and lower the door that way you get it so it gets the perfect amount of float sits kind of level and glides nice and smooth so you can kind of see that this distance appears closing as I turn this and then depending on how you have these adjusted will kind of be like, you know, how much it kind of conforms to the edge. So you can kind of see this a little tight there, a little bit loose here, which in this situation is something that I actually want because I want this to be high down here on the floor on this edge. Same thing with over here. So I kind of want this to be high on this edge. That way it'll clear that little guide which might mean that it might be a little bit open on this top side, depending on how square your door frame is and stuff. But the goal is essentially to have it so that when you go to shut the door, it slides right in. That way it doesn't hit on that plastic piece. And for this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim this down just a touch. So by trimming that down,
what I'm hoping to get is that when this door is out of the way, this will be smaller and not as tall. That way it reduces the, the Lego under your foot <laughs> effect. So you won't get hit or you won't get hurt so much when you step on it. Also, I don't want this be, to be up real high because I'm worried that the boys will see it and then try and chew on it. Because they do have a lot of plastic chews. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to take it down to about that big. So maybe a little bit more than a quarter inch. That way, should you happen to step on it, it's not too bad. And it's also hopefully small enough that the boys won't want to chew on it. But meanwhile, it should still give plenty of guidance for the door. And then I'll leave the other sides nice and tall. That way it's got plenty of support to resist the door from going in if it gets knocked. Because you can definitely tell like when it's hanging like this, how wobbly it is. Now there's probably a lot of different ways to cut this, but I'm just going to use a set of wire cutters. See how it goes. <laughs> so that came off pretty good just clean it up a little bit more oh I didn't think that was hollow well that's probably fine and then what I'll do is I'll just hit this with a little bit of sandpaper that way it's nice and smooth that way you step on it with a bare foot or in a sock it's not yanking your sock off or it's not you know no sharp edges with the door nice and relaxed, I'm just going to set this one in place, so this little bracket in place, slide it forward, and then kind of just let it rest. And what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to pre-drill that hole, just because the screws they give us isn't super thick, but I just like to pre-drill it out just a little bit. Oh, once I get it where I want it. <laughs> so I think it'd probably be easiest to clean. Maybe if there was just a little tiny gap behind it. That way we can sweep in back behind it if we need to. Whereas if it was tied up against it, that might be a good catch point. I mean, either way, it's going to be a good catch point for dirt. <laughs> but having that pre-drilled makes running the new screw in a lot easier. You can kind of see I trim this down and then... With it being hollow, I figured that's going to be a really big catch point for dirt. So what I did was I put just a touch of like white kitchen and bathroom caulk in there. And I pretty much filled that whole thing up just in case, you know, I figured if I just put it over across the top, there's a slight chance that that might get, you know, smacked down over time. But with it in place right here, we should be good to go. So I'll get this lined up a little bit better, get this tightened down. Then I'll drill out my other hole and then run the next screw in. Both screws are in nice and tight. Door slides in nice and smooth. And what I'm hoping is that now any force gets applied to it, it's going to get stopped. The only thing I need to worry about is if like this old one here is brittle at all. But I'm pretty sure this is way better than it was before. So, hopefully, that's it for the doors getting knocked loose. <laughs> but, one never knows. And with Shadow, Shadow and Bandit both weighing about 70 pounds a piece, that's 140 pounds of wrestling dog sometimes. <laughs> but, I did about all I could. So, this being trimmed down, Looks like it hopefully won't hurt a whole lot if you step on it. It's nice and rounded over. And then I got that little bit of silicone caulk over it. That way it's nice and clean. So that shouldn't be like a dirt catch point inside of it that you can never get any of the dirt out of. <laughs> the little bit of dirt that may get back by here, I'm pretty sure should be easily swept outable. So all in all, not a big deal, 
but it's kind of one of those things where it's like, oh, it's nice to get something done. <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll check you next time. Lego test. <laughs> that seems to work.